In this video, we're going to be going over shipping settings and setting up your shipping template within Amazon Seller Central. Uh, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. I'll continue to make uh, you know free videos for everybody. Um, but so when you log into Seller Central, this is not the page that you will be on. You'll be on your main dashboard. But to get to this view of shipping settings, you'd go to the gear icon in the top right, and then you just go to shipping settings. Okay. And then you'll land on the shipping templates view. And this is where you can go ahead and establish what you will be charging for FBM orders. Okay. And so we want to start with a free, uh, you know, basic shipping cost uh, that will, you know, attract more people to you. You don't want to be charging them, uh, you know, $4.99 or whatever the case may be. Uh, consumer psychology dictates that people really, really like free shipping. So offer them free basic shipping um, and just bake that into your price. But as you get into it, as we get into the holiday season, folks are going to have a sense of urgency. They're going to want you know more expedited uh, services and you can offer that to them. So an example would be uh, two day delivery. Um, we would go ahead and get a sense of how much two day delivery is going to be in different areas of the country. You can go to Pirate Ship or Shippo and you can do a uh, test of, of this. And so what you would do is you would take a product that is maybe like the average product that you sell in terms of size and weight. You'd go ahead and throw the dimensions into their program. And then you would go ahead and just get that number. And then you can build off your rates based on that. So say, for example, uh, to ship to Arizona would be uh, 15 extra dollars of shipping to you. You can go ahead and increase that anywhere from, you know, five to 10 to $20 to, to just play with it over time. You'll understand what works and what doesn't. Um, but you're going to want to create some buffer for yourself so that your, uh, better service is not eating into your profit margins. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go through for all of the regions that you could be shipping to get a sense of how much it's going to cost and then just create that buffer so that you are left not holding the bag for the shipping and you'd want to go ahead and get a sense for um, not only very light items but also heavier items so uh, you can go ahead and just charge your base fee plus a per pound amount okay so play with it see what works um, there's no exact right answer for what someone will and will not pay. Um, but you could also, if you wanted to, you could look um, at a storefront that is doing very well and you could get a sense of, you know, if I wanted expedited shipping from them, how much is it going to cost? And you can you can use that as well to back into a price that uh, you would be charging the customer. All right, we are now in the general shipping settings. Um, I'll go ahead and, and demo all of the different things that you can change. Um, so if you look at default, shipping address this is where you're going to be shipping your packages from so typically your home or you know apartment or a warehouse and so you can change that here um you know i do not know if this has any impact on the inform act i don't believe it would um but if you are going to change it just make sure that you have documents that would uh, support the fact that you are actually shipping from where you say you are okay then we have order fulfillment settings. And so this is where we can set our cutoff times to honor the services that we're offering. Okay. So you can see here, we've got premium ship options. We have a cutoff of 2 PM and then we have zero day handling uh, with standard. We would cut that off at 1130. So orders that come in after, you know, 1130 for zero day handling, uh, we would not have to get them out same day. We could wait till the next day to ship those. Think about these settings when, you are putting them in. If you have other commitments or, you know, you're in and out of the house, you don't want to be in a position where you get an order at five o'clock that needs to go out same day. Some of the postal services may not be open at that time. So think about it, put a little buffer in so that you're not scrambling like a madman. Okay. Um, you can also change your, um, weekend operation. So you could decide, you know, do you want to be fulfilling orders on the weekend? Um, this may be a competitive advantage, you know, especially during very busy seasons, you know, if you're willing to get the packages to where they need to be, um, you know, even on weekends, 
that could be an advantage. You might get more buy box share, but you have to think about your ability to fulfill it. If USPS and UPS are closing, then you may be in a pickle. So you really have to think about these settings before you offer them or else you're going to have clients that are upset. Okay. Um, we'll go over some, a, a few other important ones. So handling time, this is where you would change your default handling time. Um, I just do zero and then you want to go ahead and change, uh, your order handling capacity, uh, to indicate how many orders you can fulfill in one day. All right. So pretty straightforward there. Um, and then we also have the holidays option. Okay. So you could say, regardless of what date these are on, I'm not going to be fulfilling packages on this date. But those are all the shipping settings that we can change within Amazon Seller Central. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you wouldn't mind going and liking and subscribing, that would really help me out. But I will see you next time.